So during the school year, my average day is taken up mainly by school, obviously. If I'm feeling particularly motivated, I'll get up and practice beforehand, but that's rare. The summer is a lot more fun for me because my entire day is taken up by musical activities, which is obviously what I love the most. That's one of the things that I'm looking forward to most about going to music school, being able to take classes in the field of music. My first year in Aspen, I remember arriving there and being there for one day and realizing, wow, I'm way out of my depth. Everybody here is amazing. I don't belong. And sometimes I still feel that a little bit because my peers are just so incredible and so inspiring. But um, now I definitely feel more in the groove. And this year, since I'm more familiar with the town of Aspen, I've been able to experience more of the hiking opportunities and visit more of the places that are so great in the town. One of my favorite culinary spots in Aspen is the Creperie du Village, which is pretty self-explanatory. It serves these great crepes, but also it's a great place to go busking, you know, playing on the street. So I love to do that. Sometimes if you're lucky, they'll give you free crepes if you busk there, so. <laughs> No, what I really enjoy most about this is the scenery, being able to, you know, take a short bike ride and then go on a hike up a beautiful mountain, so. I play with the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra. I've been with them now for seven years. I've only sort of realized this now, but I think it was joining my youth orchestra that really made me view cello as a career option and a life choice rather than just something that, a hobby that I'm good at. Being surrounded by a lot of peers who are really intense about music and then having us come together and create music that was really beyond the level that, I've, that I'd ever played before. That made me realize that there's so much more that I can do with music. One of the first recordings that I heard of that Beethoven sonata was of Mstislav Rostropovich playing it. And then I read a little bit about his experience with the sonata, and he described the opening of it as a thread in time that's been going on forever, and you just want to show that it's there to the audience. So just something really simple and really profound and like eternal. Mm -hmm. 